Talkshit Radio is a Kennedy Studios production. The opinions stated by various contributors to Talkshit Radio and its radio programs are not to be considered as or endorsed by Kennedy Studios Incorporated. Visitors are urged to use their own discretion to draw their own conclusions. All information, products, services, and use of this website is for entertainment purposes only and personal use only. Talkshit Radio Network does not confirm nor deny the validity or accuracy of the information contained within the website or broadcast. Any services or products provided by Talkshit Radio Network and its host contributors should be used solely for entertainment purposes only. Hey, this is Lewis, and you're listening to Talk Shit Radio. Welcome to Talk Shit Radio. I'm Yvonne. Hey, what's up? This is Tim. This is Talk Shit Radio. Um, I have been out on the streets every day except for yesterday. Okay. What the media is being... What the media... Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Hey, good morning, guys. Thank you for listening to Talk Shit Radio. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Talk Shit Radio. Feels weird not hearing us in our... I, I don't hear anything. I, there's no headphones. I can't... We are on what I would like to say, Tim, and I, I think you would agree, is very limited capacity. Very limited capacity. We're definitely out of the element right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we are working off of a laptop computer, folks, and instead of the broadcast computer and the regular sound panel and and so bear with us with the sound and everything we got the mobile uh, mixer hooked up and and so on and so forth so are we coming through on the on the speaker account we are we are coming through how's it sound a little muffled is it turn it up some turn it up some let's hear which oh yeah Oh yeah, well that's because I don't even have this thing set. You don't have the mic, yeah. the uh, the uh, mixer set yeah. the, for the uh, microphones. So, it's no. just raw. No, I understand. So. Yeah. So well, anyway, we're back from the rally and tally. Let me get over here in the chat room see if there is any chat going on. I can't see it because that stupid thing's in my way. There we go. There's, we already got chat. There's brother. chatters. Uh, John. Looks like shit. What do you do with it? You rip it down, buddy. You rip it down. Good morning, John. Good morning, Daisy. Uh, Good morning. Yeah, everybody's in the chat. You got your chat window open on I your got phone? It. I got right, it open. So this is how today is going. Instead of having my normal three screens, four screens in front of me with the cameras, which I'm sure if I logged into Ustream, I can get the cameras up, but it ain't happening today. <laughs> We're working off of a mobile mixer. A um, couple mic stands and a laptop. So again, bear with us and welcome back, everyone. Uh, welcome to the show. Yes, welcome. Yeah, um, I'm, it, it was nice to go away, but it was so oh much my better to come. God, home. it was so much better to come home. Yeah. After sitting outside in the car, well, what had happened is we were sitting outside for about four right. hours. First of all, listen to Timmy's voice, and you can hear how sick he is. Well, yeah, I, I got a little rasp in my voice because we were sitting outside for so freaking long. Long, I was sitting with the equipment while the stupid people A to Z. A to Z rental of Tallahassee. Rentals. If you ever need them, don't call them. Don't They're call them. They don't be know what they're there at 2 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the morning and have the tent set up by then. This way, yeah. So go ahead. Capital, um, whereas we couldn't broadcast anymore because of the situation that that happened. We couldn't do anything. Couldn't do anything. Yeah, it was 22 stories, and it was the Capitol building. So in order for me to get through security, uh, it would have took probably 45 minutes for them to go through all the equipment we brought, for us to get it up there, for us to get it set up. Um, so on and so forth. I am going to do my best right now to try and share this broadcast on Facebook. 
Um, but I am working off of a very small laptop, so if this I, thing starts... I'm working off my phone. Yeah, yeah. I just so shared it. You did? I'll talk yeah. shit and everything? Yeah. We are off of such limited capabilities this morning, it ain't even funny, but, uh, how's it sound? We good? Yeah, we're still... Alright. Um... Yeah, the rally and tally, I mean, it went successful. We raised some eyebrows, that's for sure. Um, there was well over, there was thousands of people there. Let's just put it that, to you that way. Um, whether everybody made it upstairs to the 22nd floor or not, I don't know. But there was quite a bit of people there, that's for sure. Um, I don't know about you, Tim, but, I mean, lunch went over great, and then we went back to the speech. The buffet the night before was really good. The buffet the night before was really good. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to move this microphone a little just a touch closer. <clears throat> the buffet before was good. And um, the speakers, we had some people from, from you know, uh, LEAP, which is uh, Law Enforcement uh, Against Prohibition, something like that. Yeah. Um, we had uh, Bill Worsfer, of course, was there, who was one of the hosts. And then Robert uh, Platt's one. Robert Platt's one. Who set little, up the whole entire event. Yep. He and he is um, the the main guy, the main guy for the Silver Tour, which the is a, a medical marijuana organization for seniors. Yes. Um, it was. It turned out okay. I gotta say, you know, we raised eyebrows. It, it was an experience. It was an experience. It was an experience. Um, yes, they were spilling out into the. That's what Daisy just put into the streets and everywhere. It into was, the whole way, yeah. Yeah, there, there was there was a lot of people there and not a lot of room in the hallways. Um, you know, we it was just rough. I didn't get a private interview with Bill. It, there was just so much going on. I wanted to do a private interview with Bill Worsford and Robert Platthorn. Didn't get to do that. Well, they were here, there, and everywhere. You That's know, they right. had a lot. They had a lot to, you know, scramble to do because of the situation with the tent. Right. And us being outside in the courtyard, they couldn't, you know, have fine time. They were, they were trying to scramble to get us up into the building. Yep, exactly. Just think of, um, um, let's see, just think of uh, planning a concert and then last minute, you know, the the, the mm -hmm. concert venue mm -hmm. place, the building says, nah, you can't come here. No. You know, we're closed for repairs. Um, you know, then you got, you know, 10,000 people standing in the courtyard there. Well, and also, it was freezing cold out there. Even with, the tent, up, even with the tent up, it still would have been really cold. I mean, yeah, it would have blocked the wind a little bit. Yeah, they would have been, it would have definitely been cold either way in that yeah, tent. They would either have been way. cold either way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that tent, it honestly, probably wasn't big enough for how many people that were there. No. Not at no, all. There would have been people everywhere. I mean, what was it? Uh, uh. 75 by a 25 foot tent probably 75 by 50 maybe that was, that was, you know yeah uh, and no one really fit on the 22nd floor yeah yeah beautiful view of the, the capitol oh though. yeah we went into the museum the the capitol museum which was built in 1845 which is an absolutely beautiful building i'm standing there and and you had gone in at this time already and come back out because we were taking turns in the cold and you my friend are a freaking trooper because the cold killed me um and I, I'm I'm regretting it because you're paying for it now. Yeah, I'm, but, I am. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I got to turn this like this. Who, who'd you meet? I got to shake the hand of the, the governor of the state of Florida, Governor Rick Scott. And I got to tell you, um, it was interesting. You know, it was... It was How many? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It's the first time I've ever been speechless. I didn't know what to say, only because what I wanted to say I couldn't say because my lawyer asked me not to say anything stupid or be mean or, you know, rude or get arrested or anything like that. So what I wanted to say I absolutely couldn't say, so I had nothing to say. So I bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I did. And then he tells me afterwards, well, you should have kicked him in the balls. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. You told me to be a good boy. You told me not to say anything. He goes, yeah, exactly. I didn't tell you you could kick him in the balls. Secret Service would have been all over oh, you. Oh, my. Forget the Secret Service, but it was, there was, you know, armed uniform officers standing right there. Oh, oh, okay. So Secret Service wouldn't have freaking even had to the budge. They would have went, <laughs> get him. Get him. Sick him, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Yeah. 
that's all I could think about was, oh my God, I hope they don't, you know, like have face recognition software. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kennedy, I, hope, them. I hope they didn't hear what I said. <laughs> yeah, enough said, right? So Angela did get a picture yes. with Rick Scott. It is posted on her Facebook page, and I think I shared it on my personal Facebook page. But uh, well, let's see what else, brother. What else went on during the rally and tally? It was a nice drive up there. We took, we, we took it nice and slow in the, in the, in the way there, yeah. and then we just flew home, you know, and all that. That was ride home, wasn't it? Yeah. Back at home, as a round. That was a lot, lot quicker. <laughs> no, we got to get home. Oh, yeah. Um, just like Michelle said, forget the pictures. We got to get home. <laughs> we don't need the video camera. Let's get home. We, we got to get home. Right, well, on the way home, it really doesn't matter. No, it doesn't, <laughs> though. I didn't, I didn't want to see anything, I'll be honest with you. I just wanted to go home. I was amazed on how much land we passed, you know, like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah? On 19. Yeah, well, <laughs> up in the Suwannee, we crossed over historical Suwannee River. Yes. Um, which we actually stopped, took some footage. And we will get that edited and all of that kind of good stuff. Yes. I'm just trying to share links, bro. I hope the, oh, okay. the broadcast is doing good. Listen to it and see if it's working because I'm, I'm putting this computer it's, through its maximum it's, right now. It's working. We're just muffled. Is it a little? Okay. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. Well, they, yeah. they're they saying they can hear us. Yeah, I mean, they can hear us. I can hear us. I mean, I could turn up the tone some. Is that any better? Tell me in 30 seconds. When, <laughs> all right, I'll tell you in 30 yeah, seconds. Turn, tell me in 30 I'm seconds. All right, I'm just going to share this on talk shit because this is almost like impossible on this computer because it's my wife's computer and it's really small and it's been overexhausted. The content you request cannot be displayed right now. Oh, cool. That's awesome. So this content cannot be displayed right now. So if you would, you shared it on the Facebook page already, right, Tim? Yep. All right, so but all of them I, are. I can continue to share. Yeah, I got to. Yeah, continue. continue to share them all. We're we're up and playing good and yeah, toned it up some. Yeah, it's the same. Is it? Yeah, yeah. it's it's a little bit bit better. Yeah, let's see. I got. Oh no wonder I got it on music. Oh, that's why. Right. That. That's probably on. That's probably a lot better. I don't know. Now we'll have to find out in thirty, 30 seconds. seconds. We 30 switched seconds. it over. Um, bro, I to restart. Freaking updates, girl. Wrong time. Oh, she had to start for re update. Okay, gotcha. Um, she had updates that she had to do. The computer had to restart for updates. Oh, oh, oh. But uh, uh, you know, I mean, honestly, you know, I don't blame anybody for the outcome. Sound better? Yeah. Okay. I don't blame anybody for the outcome of the, you know, the the weather or anything like that. But, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. As far as, like, backup plans, I would have had a better one. That's for sure. Already in place. Um, you know, just in case, God forbid, we, you know, something like that would have happened. That plan would have been worked out already. You know, they could have closed off the 22nd floor to the kids and the students. and They, probably had a, they literally probably had to uh, think on their ass. Yeah. Oh, you know, Robert, Robert, what the hell to do? You Robert know, and Bill get probably the approval, scrambled, yeah. Get, get the approval to bring everybody in so then they could set up the podium, set up the chairs and stuff like that. Yeah, that they had for the uh, thousand plus people yeah. in and out of the Capitol. Board. And they probably got hit with a lot of security, you know, uh, yeah. people going through security. I mean, I understand it's the capital of security is... When I got back from parking the car, yeah. there was still a huge line yeah. to get into the building. So, I mean, it was pretty wicked. Yeah. There uh, were a lot of people. Yes. And there was field trips left and right. Yeah, yeah kids, that was weird. There was kids all there. It was stupid to schedule that during Aww. that day. I don't, I don't understand why they They probably didn't that. know that there was any, any field trips for schools coming by. <laughs> I don't know, man. This bitch has been scheduled for a while. Well, it was, but either way, I think it was a, su a success because we did raise some eyebrows, um, and I think bringing it into the building uh, made probably more of an impact than having it outside the building mm -hmm. did or would have. Uh, so I, you know, either way, it was good. It was successful. I know I met a lot of people. Mm -hmm. There was an unfortunate incident where someone went to jail. Um, yep, they got pulled over, got to a car accident. I'm not sure of any details, nor can I discuss any, but unfortunately they ended up in jail. One person. Um, can't really disclose the information, though? No, it's none of nobody's business, to be honest with you. It had nothing to do with the rally. They weren't even there. They were on their way to the rally. So, 
Uh, what else happened, bro? What else? Let's see. You met some really cool met people. Met some people. Yeah. Bro, uh, the guy um, with the uh, the service dog, Rick. Yep, Rick. He was awesome. He was pretty good. Absolutely. He, he, was, a cool he, he was actually Amish, probably, because he had the beard. Yeah, the the Amish beard. beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say something to him and, and break his balls and break your balls at the same time. Yeah. And he'd be like, you Amish brothers, man, with the beard. What is with that thing? I just, you know what it is? I'm just jealous because I can't grow one to keep my face warm. <laughs> it's not even about keeping your face warm. Yeah. What is it about looks? Yeah. Well, you got to trim me up today. I need to get trimmed up. Yeah, I got to trim myself up, too. After we get our full studio back. Yeah, I got to trim myself up, too. Yeah. No. 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 Still no? Hell no. Waiting for... Wait Wait a couple more weeks. Waiting for Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I, you can't wait, can you? I know no, I'm I can't excited. Wait. I know I am. I can't wait. Gonna go meet Joe. Looks like we're gonna get the drone fixed here uh, within the next couple of weeks. So I think the we'll drone bring it with us, huh? Bringing it with us? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, drones coming to Oklahoma with us, uh, along with probably two cameras, the big one and the little one. Now that I've got the little one, mm-hmm. not that one. The yeah. other one, the no, other that camera. One. Oh, that one. That one. And that one. That one's the newer one. Uh huh. So. And then the small one that I just bought. Mm-hmm. The portable broadcast station. Um, Literally, you don't even need these. The speakers? No, you I don't. don't even need to bring them. No, not at all. Not you just bring no. that, pack that up. This, That's the it. wires. Yeah, the wires. And, and, you know, hopefully I can get my laptop to work after this. But I don't know, man. This thing's been through a beating. It was working before. I know. It's probably an audio jack because the it's just been through a beating, dude. Been through a beating. Um, looking f- so forward to so many things we have going on, dude. We got so many things that are happening right now. It is ridiculous. Almost overwhelming what is going on. We still, in the next two weeks, um, we have to get ready to go to Oklahoma. And uh, still do a couple uh, other things before that. Right. You're right. Yeah, the one computer just said it was dying, and I gotta make sure everything's everything's good on it before it dies. But then we're still broadcasting on this one, so so God forbid that God, to God die. forbid this one dies, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's good. That's good. I'm gonna restart it, do a boot scan on it, and oh. she should be all right. Actually, we'll set this up to do a boot scan now and restart. Can you hear us in the microphone? I don't hear us in the headphones, mm-hmm. and, and I never did oh, when going through this way. The only thing I hear in the headphones is when I do the sound effects mm-hmm. through the speaker. Um, I mean, because we hear each other talking. Yeah. You know? The only advantage that we have with having the big sound board is exactly that. We can hear ourselves on the big board. So, All right. So what else we got going on, Tim? Talk about what we got going on in the next couple of weeks. Um, well, we're going to have to be going to uh, an animal uh a zoo in Tampa Bay uh, to see some elephants. Um, Je- Joe Ocala, Ocala, to be exact. Oh, it's Ocala. I it's better want to hear you. There's one in Tampa um, that I want to go check out. Um, we all know who that is. That's Big Cat Rescue. Yes. We're going to go check that place out undercover, all sneaky peeky. Um, so, big cameras in there. Gonna wonder where I, I have a set of sunglasses. We're going to have a camera. Fuck that. We'll bring the fucking uh, the cameras in. Nah. We'll, we'll sit there and just... Nah, 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 like, nah. Like, we're, like we're tourists. No, everybody's going to be on their best behavior then. We're going to be on our best behavior. I no, I mean, mean everybody we're... there at the preserve will be on their best behavior. Oh. Uh, well. Yeah. Either way, if there's visitors there, they're not going to be on their worst behavior. Yeah, but if I'm just standing there with a pair of sunglasses and nobody knows that I'm recording them, I could catch a lot of shit. <sighs> Be surprised what you can catch with a hidden camera behind the scenes. Yeah, but when the park is open mm-hmm. for the big cat rescue, they're not going to do anything to incriminate themselves for a witnesses to it's see. Not, it's not that. If they know a press crew is coming in, they're going to make sure everything and everyone is on their tippy toes. If I'm just walking through, shit happens, bro. Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. And if you're just there filming it, and I mean, I just turn my fucking head, and there it is with this set of sunglasses and the camera mounted on the rim. I got it. See, I don't think it matters. I think if we just bring think, cameras in. I think it'll be cool. I think if we just bring the cameras in and, uh, and videotape what we see. I want to go in there undercover first and see what's up. Okay. And then we'll make an announcement 
that were coming in, press. Mm -hmm. We want to give us some press coverage. Mm -hmm. And it will be really on the cover. Well, see, the difference is, is we'll have both sets of footage now. Oh, before, or the one that we were hitting, that was, that was, uh... We didn't know we were coming. Yeah, and then we didn't know we were coming, and we were actually recording, and then the ones when we were recording, they are uh, doing, doing interviews. Exactly. Get Cal Basket on the line, we'll ask her a couple of questions. Well, she won't answer the phone, dude. So bad, how bad, bro? She's as scared of me. Too much bad press. She wanna go to jail. Yeah. She's, she's, uh, covering it up this long. Uh huh. I I wonder if she's they gotta already, find they gotta find evidence. I wonder if she's already called or contacted, had her minions contact her Hernando County Sheriff's Department or or you know the the police benevolence fund and make a huge contribution. Donation. Yeah. Oops. Well, we didn't find no bodies or nothing. We're gonna suspend the search. Oh. Well, I'll raise some eyebrows. Yes, I will. Hmm. Why did you donate? A half a million dollars to this fund. At this time. At this time, yes. Uh -huh. We're going to have to do some poking into that. Time for some investigative journalism, folks. <laughs> I am a little lost because we have no stories in front of us. We really don't. No computers. We're sitting here in a half put back together studio. <laughs> half put together. There's right. nothing. There's nothing plugged in. So everything is just sitting on the table. Where everything it's just go. sitting on the table to get plugged in. We have about how many miles of wire do you figure we have? Six, eight. Well, miles, I was going to say like four or five. Okay, so four or five miles of wire that we have, and to, we run. have to run yep. and connect. Yep. And secure. Yep. Make bundles. Make the harnesses. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of work to do here, buddy. That uh, that uh, monitor tower is pretty cool. You like that? Yep. yep. I put my full monitor setup back up so it's easy to manage the control panel. It's got all four views of everything, so I can't wait to get it all set up. But I'm really looking forward to getting out to GW Zoo in Oklahoma. Oh, I can't wait for that. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. What the hell are you laughing at, Daisy? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that, actually. Yeah. What's so funny, lady? Um, me stretching? <laughs> stretching? Or me being lost and not having any material in front of me? God damn it, you got me I know. Tim's sick as a dog because I made him stand outside. I didn't make him stand outside. He uh, said, fuck you. I'm fucking I'll sweating. You got this thing on. Oh, are you sweating? <laughs> yeah, really? Are you cold? No, I'm comfortable. Oh, you're comfortable. I'm sitting here sweating. <laughs> I'll turn it down for you, bro. I'll turn it down. Turn it off. Yeah, I'll turn it off for you, bro. No problem. Oh, well, let me plug this back in before we lose the computer and type of broadcast. Oh, yeah, just on. in case. Yeah, shut that one down so we're good. Daisy was uh, laughing about the wires. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need Mikey to come here and help. I need him to wire it all up. Yeah. Oh, dude, he'll be done in like two hours and it'll look like beautiful. Where, where is this going to take us four hours? Where it's going to take me 20 minutes because I'll just lay it all out and leave it on the floor. Because <laughs> the camera don't see it. <laughs> the camera don't see it. Cameras ain't going to see it. Looks like shit, John. Rip it down. <laughs> <laughs> what else did we encounter in the tally? Um, I'll tell you what, I've never consumed as much as I did ever medicine in my life. Me too. Yes. Yes, you had quite a bit. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. It was, uh, yeah, we're on the mobile setup there, Daisy. Um, that's where we're on today. The the permanent studio, the, the solid studio is, is ripped apart because I need part of it to go mobile. Uh, this is mobile. Yeah. This, this is the true mobile, mobile setup. What this you hear right here. This is it right here. This is what it'll sound like when we're at GW Zoo. Uh, we're going to broadcast every morning live from a different location at the zoo with Ustream. With Ustream. Cameras on us. Uh huh. Cameras on us. And with the benefit of around. audio, brother, yep. because I'll be able to take the audio from that camera mm -hmm. and bring it into this board here and pump it out that way. So, yeah, it should be really cool. Yeah. yeah it's going to be really neat. And we're going to so. be at a different enclosure every day. A different uh, animal. A different part of the zoo every mm -hmm. day. I, I'm going to see if Joe has the time. Um, what the fuck was that? I, I don't know. I don't know what the <laughs> was. We'll see if Joe has the time. Uh, no more equipment, Daisy. Holy shit, I got enough freaking equipment now. Do you, you want to come over here and put the equipment down here? Head, man. You, gotta you, have have to, you don't even know. 
I laugh when other DJs get on and say, yeah, I, you know, oh, you look beautiful, honey. You ready for school? Oh, uh, you took off the nails I did for you yesterday. What the fuck? What happened? They were too long. They were too long. Yeah. File them. So I do, I do Angie's friggin' nails yesterday. Yeah. And in the middle of the night, she rips them out. <laughs> it wasn't even ten minutes after that she ripped them off. She went to the bedroom and went pluck, 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 pluck. pluck. Yep. Why, baby? You're not used to it. No, and I couldn't type. I couldn't do anything. Nah. Did, did you get used to it? Yeah. I'm not that type of girl, though. You're not that type of girl, she says. I'm not a girly girl, she says. Neither was your sister until she was about 17. And then she turned into a, a, a girly girl. Maintenance. High maintenance. High maintenance. High maintenance. High maintenance. I, didn't I didn't want to say high maintenance. High maintenance, brother. High maintenance. maintenance. What, honey? Go away. <laughs> you can't say that. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. She's not a bitch all the time. She's a bitch all the time. Uh, get one ready, please. Uh, you want to go on mic? I can plug another mic in. Um, no? no? She's going to school. Oh, okay. All right, so I don't know what... I know, you got to go to school. What time is it? I have no... Oh, 8.30. It's 8.36. Time's right there in front 8 of me. 8.26. 8.26. 8.26. 26. Uh, 26. 26. I got bad sight. Bye, uh, <laughs> Ange. Talk to my eyes, bad. I love you, baby. Nice friggin' nails. So, uh... Oh, yeah. This just in. What just in? SB 528. Pass. Really? No. Oh. Google it. Google it. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> You're supposed to say really? Uh, how do I find out for sure? <laughs> Google it. Google it. Google it's free. No, that's just a joke. We don't. We were no, just playing. We're, we're just kidding. Yeah. She said they're like, oh jeez, oh shit, I forgot what I was supposed to say. Oh shit, I forgot. I forgot. This. I forgot. Yeah, we <laughs> did talk about it too. The skit was all worked out. I blow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I am I, again just dreaming of having the camera sitting with a uh, uh, 300 pound whatever behind us in its cage. Is that what you dream about tonight? Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah, man. Right at this point? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been dreaming about. I, I, I've said this to you before. I want a lion to tackle me or a tiger to yeah, tackle this me. this crazy bastard wants to go in the cage with something and set up a skit to where the thing comes out. And, and I tackle. run away from him and yeah. he comes and tackles me. Oh, he'll tackle you, I'm sure. I'm sure Joe would set that up for you in your underwear, no less. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> that <laughs> oh, man. I hope you land fucking face first in a big pile of steamy tiger shit. Ah. <laughs> no, I won't. It's funny, but we can cut. That won't and rub a bunch of mud on your face to make it look like it. Did. Oh, make it look like shit. Pile up some shit, mud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not shit. And then what? Mud. Face first into it. Yeah, you just a little face plant, and then you look up. We'll have to cut when you look up. Mm -hmm. Wipe your eyes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then wipe your mouth and look up and go. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> What do you think? You just got Benny. That, that, that was pretty good improv. Yeah, well, we got to we got to show that the cat eating the chicken first. Then you oh, go in the cage, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? And, then, uh, and then and then put my face in it and right. start eating it. Tastes like chicken. Ooh, that's what he had. He had chicken. I bet you that mud has a little bit of tiger shit mixed into it. Look, he's like cut, <laughs> we're cut. We're gonna have out that. We're gonna have the mud in. We're cutting out that script. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go. The alternate scene. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ixnay on the itchy. Rewrite. <laughs> well, you're going to see that on the talk shit cutting room floor tape. <laughs> One day, dude. We'll have it. One day. Things keep going the way they are, buddy. I tell you what. I'm really excited. Really excited. Well, with the uh, with the GW uh, Zoological so, Park. Yeah. That's going to be really we cool. We have to get a lot of footage there. Yeah, we will. Yes, uh, we're gonna. You know what I found out that the, the, the little ball. camera, the tiny little piece of shit camera, mm -hmm. takes a SD card. Oh yeah, so that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a, and a this tape. Right here, right? Yeah, and a tape. So it takes both. Just use the SD card. Probably will. Yeah. I got to get a wire for it, the USB, so we can broadcast live right. With that the program, yep, yeah, I'll be bringing both laptops. One laptop will broadcast audio. One laptop will broadcast video because it's UStream and and Spreaker. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have video audio on both, but obviously one will be video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your your computer was just working on the Spreaker. I don't know what happened. And now it just popped out. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what happened. No idea. 
no idea. But I'll tell you what we are going to do. We're going to take a little break. Uh, I'm going to throw up a couple commercials. We haven't been in the studio and broadcasting in a few days. Uh, I know everybody has been sitting back and wanting to know what was going on with the rally, but we're going to talk a little more about it once we get back. And I do believe next week, a um, couple days, we're going to try and get Bill on the phone, maybe even get Robert Platts on, on the phone. We'll see. Michelle's going to work on that one and uh, talk about the rally and how it went from a disaster to a disaster recovery situation and, and turned out rather well. So uh, talk to your radio network, everyone. We'll be right back after these messages. The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world loving animals. If you want to work until you keel over, have less of everything in retirement, or give back more of your hard-earned money to the stock market again, then just ignore me. But if you'd like to protect the money you save, receive a steady, predictable retirement income, and enjoy financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. You can download a free report that reveals the wealth-building secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. You'll learn how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, and real prosperity without risking your money in the Wall Street casino and how to get the money you need when you need it simply by asking for it. This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. To learn more about this method and to get your free report, go to 28security.com. That's the number 28security.com. 28security.com. Go to 28security.com. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45, non-tobacco user, could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policy of $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers, too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-430-1481. 800-430-1481. That's 800-430-1481. If you're looking for a better way to clean the air in your home or office, you need the all-new ozone light. It's as simple as changing your light bulbs. The ozone light looks like a normal spiral type of light bulb. It screws in most standard light sockets, but it's not a normal light bulb. It's coated with titanium dioxide. It's completely safe, but this unique coating kills most airborne bacteria, mold spores, and neutralizes odors. Just one light cleans the air in an entire room and lasts eight times longer than the normal light bulb. If you have smokers, if you have allergies, if you have pet odors, mold, or mildew, you need the ozone light. It will wipe them out. And you have our word. If you're not satisfied with the way the ozone light cleans the air in your home, simply return it for a full refund. Call 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. Or visit airtimestore.com. That's airtimestore.com. This is Joseph, and you're listening to us on Talk Shit Radio. Star Galactic. And, ba- and the bad thing is, the frack was from the new Battle Star Galactic. Oh, even the one we were the kids. One. Yeah, that makes. Yeah, I was gonna worse. say, I watched it on Netflix. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, this man, you do know. This I do recent. know about the frack. <laughs> yeah, he knows about the frack. Yo, can you guys get any good frack? <laughs> That Just slide on down to Twig, man. slide on down to Twig Street and get yourself a nice big chunk of frack. We don't smoke frack around here, man. <laughs> you don't have it delivered? He's seen it done on the radio, right? Like frack, sorry, frack, 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 fr
Yeah, this is uh, Brooksville Bob, and you're listening to uh, Talk Shit Radio, and uh, we're going to teach you a lot of cool stuff. Tune in and see. Hey, welcome back to Talk Shit Radio, everyone. Ready to learn, like Brooksville Bob just said, tune in and see. <clears throat> I, I, I didn't know what you were playing. Yeah, you can't hear it. No, I can't. Yeah. If we go get the splitter, I can put the headphones in your ear. It's all right. But, I mean, it's right outside the door. No, everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. I don't think we're going to make it three hours today, folks. Um, I think it's going to be another short broadcast. Tomorrow we'll be back with our full... The studio put together. Capabilities. Yeah. We're, we're going to have everything all set up. Whole new setup too. A whole new setup. Yeah, a lot more video now. Yes. Yeah. Show will be the whole show will be video. So if nobody really watches our UStream from past, watch it now. Yeah, please, please join us on UStream um, on your phones if you can. If you're hanging out, chilling with your friends, and you want to just hang out and talk shit with us, we're going to be phasing out a lot of the music that we play and replacing it with talk shows. We got a lot of things we're going to be working on. We still have the medical cannabis debate that we're going to follow um, um, very closely. Uh, we have September Pierce that we're going to get her started on her own program here, and she's going to be broadcasting daily for Recycle for Recycle. Research. Uh, we have, um, we have. Let's see, uh, what else we got coming up? Joe Exotic, you know, we're definitely going to be covering about his uh, animal foundation. A lot we're going to be doing with Joe. That is with true. The USDA. Yeah. Yep. United States Zoological Association. GW Zoological Association. Um, you know, with Joe Exotic himself. I mean, there's so much we're going to do. Uh, along with uh, the road show, now that you know we've got the mobile, the mobile setup pretty mo- pretty well locked down. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing we have to do is test the lapel mics and all the portable microphones in the car, so this way it can be set up, turned on, and we could just talk. While driving, while, while driving, while no driving, mics whatever. in front of us, nothing. Um, someone has the computer in front of them to, to control it. And my intentions are is to do a multi-city tour of the of the southeast. See how it goes, depending on fundraising and all of that. Our first stop, Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Yeah. Enough said, right? Now, we, we're going to... Um, I'd love to do it for uh, the foundation that I'm working on right now. Uh, it's going to be for the protection of animals to keep them in their natural habitat instead of taking them out for you know exhibit and 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 profit. financial and profit financial correct. gain whatever you want to call it. And the reason I say it like that, and, and it has nothing to do with, um, you know, zoos here or anything like that, because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with breeding the animals you have instead of taking one out of its natural habitat and, and you know, really putting it through all that shit. In the case of a bunch of lions that are being taken from Africa and brought here to the United States, um, that's exactly what I'm doing is, is going to, you know... Animals being born in captivity live a lot longer. They have more healthier life. Yeah. Um, they're better off. They're, they're better really off. Are, yeah. You know, and to, to to grab an animal that's in the wild and bring it into captivity. Oh, it's culture shock. That's for them. hard for them as well to do, you know, anything like that. So, you know, I think that if we have an organization that fights for the animals' rights to keep them in their homelands, mm-hmm. which I plan on working on with Joe, I'm going to talk to him about it a little more, um, I think that just signing a petition, going around as a petition to keep those lions, you know, where they are in Africa, or, you know, put them in a preserve in Africa, mm-hmm. um, I, I don't think just signing a petition is going to do it. I think the you know how the petitions are probably signed. Yeah, still haven't done a goddamn right. thing for it. So I think that if if I start an organization, a fundraising organization, and start raising the funds to help open a preserve in Africa to keep those animals in their natural habitat, you know, you can't move uh, an African lion to fucking Colorado, dude. No, it gets cold up there. They're not used to that shit. Yeah, it gets cold at night, but nothing like what they're used to. In Colorado, man. Oh, my really God. Good. Yeah, you're talking, you're really going to damage the, the animal's well-being and, and, you know, its mental capabilities and mental state. So um, I think that's, you know, one of my one of my 
focuses that we're going to really focus on, and that's what's going to inspire the trip around the country, what I hope it to be. So, if anyone didn't know, Exotic Joe, he'll be airing again his Exotic Joe TV uh, on Friday. Oh, that's right. At yes. 6 p.m. Yes, that's right. I have to talk that's to him about rebroadcasting it. Yes. Yep. JoeExoticTV.com. Yep, absolutely. That's going to be pretty cool, definitely. I want to post it all over Facebook. So everybody can check it out. He gets a million. I want to watch it. Oh, I, I, I like his videos. His videos yeah. are sick. We're gonna watch it on TV though. All right. Because I got the smart TV out there. All right. Yeah. Speaking All of right. TVs, we're gonna take my bedroom TV out of my car today. Uh, put it in there to bring to the rally with us, so I can put graphics up and the radio name and pictures. And we never even got the. We didn't get the. We got to hook carry out. it from the car all the way up to the Capitol steps, and then back to the car. And then back to the car. And that's a big bitch, 47 inch. Not even that. All the other equipment was a bitch to carry. It was worse. Load. Yes, that was Hell worse. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, I do believe Joe did mention that he's possibly going to join us in the chat. So I know it's quite early there. Yet. It's probably seven. Oh, five he's five up. Right he's up. I oh, yeah, yeah. Up. You know he's up. He's but. been up for a while. Um, he got shit to do. But, uh. I, you know what? Like I said, bro, I, I just can't wait to broadcast from in the lion's cage. I mean, in front of the lion's cage. I'll be in the lion's cage. Like, hey, wait a minute here. You I'll be in the lion's cage. In the lion's cage. Jeez, they must really feel so bad. So I, I right. slipped up and told Joe that I have a fear of horses, so I think I might have fucked myself. You opened up Pandora's box on that? I think I might have hung myself, and yeah. I think we're going to end up going horseback riding, which I'll give it a try. I'll be honest with you, dude. I will give it the third try in my life. Fourth. Third, sorry. You'll be all right. Third try. Um, You'll be all right. If the horse does anything stupid this time, I'll never, ever, ever do it again. Yeah. Yep. What, get, can it, what can it do? It's going to buck you off? If I hit the ground, let me just put it to you this way. Like I've done every other time, I'll never go near another horse. What are you doing horse? these horses for them to kick you off? The one time it was one of those stupid little trail rides and all the old retired horses uh, that made it past the glue factory and get yeah. to follow each other until they die. Got it for trail. a cheap price because right. they didn't exactly. get turned into right. glue. Right. Um, this son of a bitch that I was on decided, you know what, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. <laughs> and it decided it was going to go on its own and made its own trail. And I got a branch across the chest and the, waist, uh, the, chest and the face. And down 22 hands I went. Now, if anybody knows anything about horses, which I don't know, but I've heard the expression that the horse was 22 hands tall. Oh, That's I how big these boys are. That. 22 hands. I don't I know how they counted. 22, 22, 22 hands. hands. The guy was saying, these horses are anywhere from 22 to 24 hands. You fall down. <laughs> That's it's a long system. way. That's uh, their metric system. The honor system, I guess. I don't know. They didn't have rules. They used their hands. Anyway. They used their hands. I don't know, bro. I'll be honest with you. Anyway, uh, so guess what? I fell 22 hands to the ground. See, it's so, like, you're, you're afraid of horses, but you're fine with a tiger or a lion, you know, petting you and, uh, or rubbing up against you and you being mm -hmm. close to them. Because I'm not going to. Because animals really, you know, so can kill you. A horse can't kill you. No, huh? A horse can't kill you? I don't think so. Oh, you better think again, bro. A horse kicks you in the head, you're dead. Or in a coma. Don't stand behind a horse. It could kick you in the front. With the front hook. No, it can't lift it up and kick, kick you, you like that. Kick you like that. I tell you what. I don't want to be close enough to taking damn chances. That's the bottom line of I that one. I got kicked in the knee by a donkey one time. That's yeah, that's see, there you go. That, that, that hurt like shit. Now uh, imagine man. ten times the amount of muscle. My knee was blown up like two right. times so, as Okay, what if he kicked you in the jaw? Oh, well, man. Uh, That's a different story. You'd have been fucked. You got knocked the fuck out. Damn. Yeah, you would have been fucked. Yeah, you would have been out. Oh, God, dude. You would have been. <laughs> so, I don't want to take the chance. I was sore for a week. Uh, sore for a week, you have to fall it off? Oh, uh, yeah. Every time. The older you get, the longer it takes to heal that shit. <laughs> if I fall off all us now, I just call in the fucking chopper to fly me to the hospital, please. <laughs> Serious. When was the last time you rode a horse? I was foot, but no, I can't say that. That was when I fell off. I was probably, oh, Jesus, 18, 19. Oh, so yeah, it was a while ago. And that was bareback. Oh, well. Yeah. I, I never rode bareback. I squeezed my legs to hold on. He misinterpreted that to go fast. 
<laughs> Nothing to hold on to. Not a goddamn thing. So I bailed. Yeah, like this, that that one, I, I bailed. No, that one I bailed. I looked behind me and said, well, it's not that fall or it's, I'm dying. It's not that bad of a fall or I'm dying. And I pushed myself off his ass, waited for that up momentum, and then shoved him out from underneath me. He kept landed. going, and I landed. Did you land on your feet at least? Land on my feet, but I tumbled. Oh, all right. Yeah. Tucked and rolled. Tuck, yeah, tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Still got fucked up. <laughs> he was moving, bro. He was doing like 40. I like horses. Bro. Yeah, I like them from I over there in the fence. Right. Yeah. On the nice. other side of that barbed wire like over watching there. the kids ride them. <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, it's nice. I like to be on the, the you know, the, the wagon that's being the wagon. pulled by the tractor, watching the guy on the horse. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> nah. Uh-uh. Nah. Uh-uh. Nah, I'll tell mean, you what. If I can ride a four-wheeler mm-hmm. and follow you guys, we'll go. We'll go riding. Because I'm on a horse. It's iron. It's an iron horse. I'm good. I bet on his compound he's probably got four-wheelers. I bet you he does, but I bet you the horses I'll be steering clear of. Uh, I'll be making every excuse in the book when it comes to horse day. No, I really can't. I got, I got some sore legs. Oh, on. Yeah, I can't get, I can't get, get on the horse. I can't get yeah. on the horse. Yeah. I don't feel good right yeah. now. I got to go lay down. Got chest palpitations. I got chest yeah. palpitations because horses give me anxiety, and I'm having a fucking heart attack yeah. knowing that I got to get on the horse. <laughs> thinking about getting on that horse. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to be forced to read now, fall off, and then freaking get paralyzed. Yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm no, I'm cool. cool. Yeah, I'm good. I like my body functions right the way they are. Speaking of body functions, um, <clears throat> you got an interesting story? Yeah. Well, I want to talk about what's her name's daughter, Whitney Houston's daughter. Oh. We were talking about it the other day. And they want to take her off life support, except Bobby doesn't want to, remember? Yep. I truly, truly, truly believe, um, hey, I'm in so watch for me, please, Rika. Huh? Hey? You're right. I don't know what this is. I got a message from my daughter that she may be on the news. Yeah. Yeah, so let's say, hey, I meant be on the news, so watch for me, please. What news? Record. Michelle! I don't know what this is about. Apparently, Angela might be on the news. Okay. That's your daughter, Angela. She said I might be on the news. So, um, she might be on the news with Rick Scott? I don't know. What were we talking about? We were talking about... Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, body functions with Whitney, Whitney's daughter. Oh, yeah, she came in dead, guys. When the paramedics came in... She was already gone. She was already dead. They, they, you know, there was no pulse, no breathing. Um, she was already dead for a few minutes. They brought a dead body to the hospital and reanimated it through machines. Get one ready? Reanimated it. She, d- Her mind was dead. Life support. Her mind is dead. Her lungs are being expanded pumped. and contracted by a pumped diaphragm, air, yes. being pumped with air, with, with an auger. Or whatever. Her blood is being circulated because her pump is being. I mean, her heart is being artificially pumped, stimulated. Yeah, with but electrical forces. Right? There's no brain no nope. function because she's stimulate the heart. Correct. Even if she did come back to life, she wouldn't be there. She's not going to come back to life. That's what I'm telling. But, you. but I'm saying if, if I she did. guarantee. It should probably take maybe three to five seconds before all functions cease. After they take off, uh, after they unplug her, the the brain is not firing. I'd say about thirty seconds she'd be dead after they take her uh, off. Less than that. Once the blood pressure, once the blood has no electrical charge and it stops beating, boop, flatline. The brain has to have some function. I guess so. For you to last a little bit to create the electrical charge to keep the muscles stimulated. So they that keep, brain's been dead for a while. So they keep her alive because Bobby they got doesn't, money. Bobby doesn't want to take. They her can off. afford to, right? Yeah. Well, how long is this going to last? Uh, you know, like how long until they say, "All right, it's going to be a court off. battle." It's where it's going to go. I guarantee it. It's going to be like the lady and her husband, and and who's in the wheelchair, and you know the husband fought to yeah. to pull the plug, yeah. and and the parents were like, no, 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 and yeah. So yeah. Um, I just 
I feel there should be a, a moral responsibility from the doctors to just say, hey, listen, you know, she's dead, dude. She came I, in dead. I think so, too. The only thing that's keeping her alive, you know, we, we can't waste any more hospital resources on a, on a dead body. They're not going to say that. They're I know they, they're not going to, but they should. Somebody should. See, when you look at it like that, they don't have the right to say that. No, they don't. And you if know, somebody I'm, said I'm that just, to me about my daughter, I'd freak the fuck out. Exa you exactly. How do you I'll think they, they you. would feel? Yeah. But at some point, you have to come to reality with the term that the only thing that is keeping your daughter alive is these machines. And that is no life. Let her go. You know, put her, put her, you know... Put her where she belongs, you know, a barrier, you know. You know what's crazy is they found the daughter exactly how they found Whitney. The mother. In, uh, the mother. Yeah. The daughter. Oh, no, they found the daughter just they like they found the daughter Whitney. just the way they found the mother. Yeah. Yeah. In a tub, face down. Dead. Dead. They, she was dead. Mm. They just you don't think that if they did the same thing for Whitney with the machines and everything oh, like that, yeah. it would be the same situation. Oh, bring, really the, bring the dead body to the hospital. Put some stimulation on the heart. Get it beating again. Build the blood pressure back up to where there's actually the veins aren't collapsed and everything's functioning. All right, uh, that why get the circulatory system going so the muscles and everything don't die. And then um, you know put a, a, an air pump machine in the lungs to expand and contract them so the brain gets oxygen. The brain's dead already, people. There was not enough. That's my point with the daughter. There was there was too much time that she's laid there underwater and i mean literally they brought a dead body if you look at some of the reports the, the initial report that the ambulance has to fill out yeah they reported um that it was a dead body they were transporting do you know who's the blame for all this though bobby bobby why? exactly why why because uh, of uh, the situation with the drugs that got Whitney hooked on, that, that Wh Whitney was hooked on. That's actually reverse, bro. It's actually... What, Whitney was the person who actually got into the drugs with him? Uh, got him into the drugs? Whitney was really bad. Bobby was sober. How long, babe? Ten years. Ten years. Bobby's been sober. Completely sober for 10 years. You got it. It was a piece of lint. So, Bobby Brown's been sober 10 years... Whitney Houston's been pretty much watching over her daughter. Lead by example, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lead by example. She's old enough to know better. Well, absolutely, she's old enough to know better. What the hell is that? She bring this in empty? I don't, I don't blame you. But I'm, my point by lead by example is, is the mother wasn't any better. Whitney Houston didn't show. It just the kid remembers. Hey, my mother died like this. She was a drug addict. She did it. It was acceptable and okay for her. You got to think of that kind of mentality. You think she meant to kill herself though? Who the daughter? Yeah. Mm, Throwing into the like bathtub. It. Looks like it. Throwing into the bathtub and overdosing. Looks like it on the same day, right? On the same day. No. Oh no no no. no, 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 no I don't think it was. Your anniversary. Yeah. And she's been in a coma for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Almost so weeks, yeah. she, it was getting close. She got depressed and something happened. Or she just took a bath and was all fucked up and happened to yeah. die. Or Drowned in the bath. Who knows, dude? But it's face bath. down, bro? Face down? I mean, come on. That that looks really strange. Re yeah. Really does. odd. That does. You know? But now, what does it mean that she was, uh, she's in a medically induced coma? They're, they're keeping her... A lie is in a coma. No body function, no reaction, nothing. She's in a coma. Um, the machines are keeping her alive. When she pisses, it goes out of tube. When she uh -huh. shits, it goes in a bag. Uh -huh. You know? I mean, it's... it's They're um, sending air to the lungs through oxygen. Uh -huh. <coughs> That's those machines you see with the diaphragm? Yeah. That Going forces... Up air into the lungs in and, and, and contract it and they're pumping oxygen into that all right um they're u probably using uh, blood dialysis machines to keep the blood clean and free right yep so she's dead she's gone and it's and it's you know just the fact that bobby is just refusing to let her go you know and it's a shame it is i i guess you know, everybody's got to put a, a, their own situation in play, you know, to make that decision to figure out. I, 
you know, being sick, I think about if I'm going to go ahead and if it comes down to when or where or how long I, if God forbid I was in a coma, you think about it. How many days would you go before you would either ask somebody to pull the plug or for somebody to make that decision? That would honestly be a decision, baby, that I would have to make with your children and your mother. Because now that I think about it, it would have to be a, a mutual family decision. If we all sat down and said, listen, guys, you know, she's been gone for a while. We all know this. She's in a coma. She's not coming back to us. Even if she does come back to us, it's not her. You know, she's gone. What do we What do we want to do? Do we want to pull the plug or do we let her live this way and, and do we all keep suffering? Is this how it's going to be? Well, it would have to be a unanimous decision. I was going to say, it has to be unanimous. You know, everybody has to agree with the situation. I couldn't. Make it even easier for everybody. This is something that I've been thinking about for a while because I have been sick and it's not to be morbid. Or it's whatever. something that's already been done. I will make the decision. For us, I will pick how many days if I was in a coma. But and that's, nothing that doesn't happened. matter. It matters if your family. No, it doesn't. If your family wants to go through with it or not. If I have a living will, if I have not a living will, if I have uh whatever it's called, it's, it's a, a living will. It's a will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a living will. If I have that, and I say that I can only be in a coma for 45 days, on the 46th day you pull that plug. You're gonna put us through it for that long? Uh, that was a joke. Joe, <laughs> Gotta see the look I'm getting. I'm like Joe Reporter with the microphone back and forth. Yeah, right? I see this. <laughs> I'm going back to being silent, Mitch. Bob, Bob Barker. I feel like uh, a talk show host. And to you, Michelle. And <laughs> Richard Dawson. <laughs> oh, I haven't mentioned that name in a while. Uh, Richard Dawson. Was he original? Uh, Will, uh, was it Wheel of Fortune with him or uh, uh, what was Family it? Feud? Family Feud. That's what right. What password yeah. was it? He was on that one. Yeah, you remember Hollywood Squares? Dirty little man. He was a drunk too. All of them were drunks. All the freaking the talk uh, show. All, all the talk shows and the game show yeah. they were freaking drunks. Like, like Vanna White and, and Pat Sajak. They were wasted all oh, the yeah. time when they first started that show. Wouldn't you be bro? Not really, no. No, we not really. Day and we don't get wasted. I really don't care about yeah. waiting, getting drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, neither do I, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, I don't, every I, once in a while. Every, every so Since I've known you, you've gone out drinking twice. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it was Super Bowl weekend and last weekend. And I drank last night. Did but you? I seem drunk. Did you? Yeah, the sake. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, you said it was fun. Shit load of sake last night, buddy. We drank three oh my God, bottles. Uh, hot sake. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of my like, I didn't expect it to be hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was like, what did you think the glass was, was warm for no reason? I was shocked. Really? Yeah, I was like, Jesus, man, this is hot. <laughs> How do we do? <laughs> warm this up? It was good shit, bro. I liked it. It's freaking hot. So what do we got there? John, you with us in the chat still? Or did you uh, dip off and do your work in? I think we have Daisy still with us. Um, who else is in the chat with us? Who the hell's listening to us? Do we have any listeners? I don't... How am I supposed to see? I'm on my phone. Let me see if I can try and do this here. Refresh it and see if there's anyone. I can't there. refresh it. We'll lose the whole broadcast, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me go over here. I'll open up a new window all dangerous. Like. I can't see how many people are on there. No? No. All right, well, it's I'm, just I'm opening chat. up a new window, so all dangerous like I'm going to try and see how many people we got listening All here. dangerous? Yeah, well, it slows the broadcast down because of oh, the oh, computer. Oh. It's like a piece of junk. So we got, let's see, hey, that's freaking awesome, man. There's 14 people out there checking us out. Well, yeah, that's good. First day back, and we got good deals. And the chat is rocking and rolling. Johnny says he is always out there listening. You are the man. Um, can't get rid of me in that, uh, that easy. Good deal, bro. Well, I appreciate it, and I wouldn't want to get rid of you, to be honest with you. Uh, one of our most loyalist um, listeners. But Daisy's on the phone. Daisy's on the phone. So oh, does. see? She's, she's still here, though. Need a placker, plaque number one listener from, there you go, from day one. That's true, yep. We're going to have to. Once we uh, once we get into the big building, Johnny's going to have to be there for the uh, building 
you know, a dedication ceremony. The ribbon cutting? The ribbon cutting, and um, that's right, Daisy's been there too. And um, yeah, they're, they're all going to have to be there, and we're going to have to get wasted. Wasted. It's going to have to smoke out the building. Fire yeah. marshal's coming. I was going to say, what's with you getting drunk all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, I wasn't talking about getting drunk, honey. <laughs> I thought we were going to get wasted. <laughs> Grown-ups. That's all I think about. I want to get wasted. I want to get, want wasted. get wasted. I want to get wasted all the time. Yeah. When, you, when you eat a lot of ice cream. Yeah, yeah. It means when I you know gonna get wasted. I want to get really wasted. <laughs> Tim, alert today. Nice. Oh, see, smoke that shit, Sandy says. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get the building all uh, nicey nicey when we finally do get our own place, and and uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a big party, big party. Yes. We're, we're still broadcasting. I know. Obviously. I figure I can see we're still broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> we're still up and running. Yeah. Trust me. Which is actually remarkable considering what I paid for this mobile studio mm -hmm. and what I paid for everything that's in the studio. I think we should just sell everything that's in the studio. And, and what? Use this? Go on the road. Just stay on the road. You know? Just broadcast every day from a new location. Raise funds. Have advertisements all over the car. What do you think? They were crazy. Oh my God, Hotel City. Yeah, no, that's all. We got on tour the whole friggin' year. No, thank you. We'll, we'll wait for. The, and you, you, you don't order wait. enough money when we have a bus. You, I'm good to then. You don't, you don't want to get back on the road doing a truck drive. I ain't driving. Want, we do a road trip like that. I'm not driving. <laughs> no, I'll drive. No, no, no he's driving. No. Either. After the stories I heard about your driving, no. Six accidents in how many years? Six years. Six accidents in six years. A new car year. every year. A new car every year. Oh, well, uh, another car, not new. Well, but still, another new car year. Every, every year for that day, for that yeah. year, for that year. Jeez. Until I got totaled again. Yeah. And I can't believe I let you drive my car once or twice here. I didn't six drive. accidents in six years for this. Yeah, she, was, she was there when we were talking about it. Hey, babe, I'm gonna try and hook up another microphone and see how the third microphone comes into play. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. She just shot me down. Oh, I thought she said, yeah. She shot me down. I see that. She went, nah. Like, nah. 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 Oh, I can't wait to get out to the zoo. You still thinking about that? Nut lady? No, talk about the nut lady. Nut lady? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lady. So a lady from Vietnam uh, was coming to America. Uh, coming to America again. Uh -huh. She's in first class because, of course, her daddy's on the board members of the airplane peoples, and uh, they served her macadamia nuts or cashews. All right, I got to go. On a plane, in a bag, instead of um, on a plate. We got, we got the phone in the studio. I don't know how that worked. Sil um, silent mission is not silent anymore. Is answering the phone, so let's see who it is. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, she's listening. Is it recording? Who is it? I don't know who it is. I didn't look at the GPS. I mean, the GPS. <laughs> she threw a fit and such a bad fit um, that they had to turn the plane around, go back, sit for a couple Wait, hours. Why did she throw a fit? I'm sorry. Because they were in a bag. Not on a plate. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So turned her around. Turned the plane around. Because she threw such a temper tantrum. Such a temper tantrum. That they had to turn the plane around. They had to get her off the plane. They arrested her. She's now looking for, uh, looking at a year in jail. Good. That's not you bitch should get that year. Yes, she should. And do the full year, not come out early for good behavior, a full year. I can, see, her, I can see probation. Peanuts. In the end? I can see work hours and lots of money paid. Was she Vietnamese? Of course she was. Vietnamese? Vietnamese. 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 And then, um, my, uh, my, my nose feels a little different. I couldn't say it. Testing one, two, three. Hey, there we go. Um, Daisy, can you let me know if you can hear me? We now have three mics hooked up to our little mobile station here, and I got room for one more. Oh, you got it right there, right, Timmy? Yeah, I got it right there. Right, cool. Daisy, can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you're sitting right here. We got all three mics PM. hooked up. We got room for one more mic, which is actually going to be a good thing, because then we will have all four of us plus Joe. I can hear you. It's just uh, muffled. It's muffled still. Okay, so let's see if we can't make it a little better. We'll turn that up. We'll bring the bass down. And we'll bring the volume up just a snatch over there. How's that? Turn it up some so I can hear it. Testing one, two, three, huh? Um, I don't know. Here, turn it up for Christ's sakes. I'm trying to listen to it. All right, so yeah, I hear it there. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, now I'm gonna try and set this. This board is new. Yeah, I haven't said anything yet, so. Nothing to say. Let's see. No, that's that. Let's see. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, so. All right. Well, that's. We are listening to Yeah, I haven't said anything yet, so. Nothing to say. Keep on going. No dead air. Get this right. I apologize for the sound, guys. We are, you know, working on limited shit here. Limited resources, right? Now. Like I said, y'all. Yeah. I, I never hooked up. The mobile board's all. Oh, the mobile board. No, yeah. I just never. Really up right now. Right. I just never said it. So um, I just don't know how. My problem is I don't know how our sound is. Um, I could put the big huge speakers on it later and check it, but I don't know if that's going to go good. through it. Yeah, with the um, microphones. Yeah. What do you got over there, Mish? What you doing? Um, right now on two seventy five where it splits. Uh, the two seventy five seventy five uh, interchange. Yes, there's two by fours all over the road. From what, an accident, or... I don't have a pop filter on here, Daisy. Yeah, it know. released, um, I don't know, a truck just was driving down the road with a bunch of 2 by 4s and it just boop, 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 all over mm -hmm. the road, so they're trying to clean that up. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. It's, it's going to uh, take you forever to get past that. So now I'm too loud? Is that what you're saying, Daisy? She says don't blow. Don't? Yeah, no, I don't have a pop filter on. Um... Anyway, it is going to be um, a very busy next couple of weeks for us, that is for sure, along with the, the couple doctor visits we have because of the car accident. Um, we have to go to North Florida to check out Luke the Elephant at the Elephant Preserve in North Florida. I thought it was Tampa. No. Why do I have Tampa in my mind? I don't know. I don't know. We have to go to, um, we have to also go to another place in Tampa that I believe Joe goes. We have a trip to Miami we have to make yet, correct? Yes. Jesus. Yeah. Um, this is all in the next, what, two to three weeks before we go to Oklahoma? That two weeks until we go. Two weeks till we go to Oklahoma. Um, well, right now is the 12th. Right. We leave on the 3rd. So about 20 days? 20 days. They're going to blow by so fast. Yeah, about 20 days, I think. Yeah. Unreal. What else you got, babe? So I'm not even going to pull it up at the moment, but <clears throat> I pretty much watched the story. Uh, this family was coming out, I guess, out of a store or whatever, and literally, or out of her house, literally she saw these, uh, this guy, this guy, this, this guy. guy, she saw this guy. This guy. Steal her car. So she decided to jump into her boyfriend's car. Oh, no. And follow. Coo -coo -coo. With her 13-year-old son and her uh, her boyfriend. Child endangerment? No. Check this out. She's on the phone with the police. She's chasing him. He goes ahead and uses her car to hit her car. Oh, wow. <laughs> hit and run. Oh, oh wow! God, he drove away. She's on the phone. I, I'm still seeing him. You know, da, 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 yeah. whatever. Yeah. The cops finally catch up with her. So now they got people videotaping. You know, either the news or whatever, because it's a um, it's a what's that uh, car pursuit or whatever right. they're pursuing them. Now they go ahead. She goes ahead and gets 
him to stop or his, you know, whatever the case may be. He gets out of the car. She gets out of the car. Starts beating the crap out of him. The dude that to stole the car she beat the shit out of? Yes. Nice. You stole my car. That's justice right there. You and, 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 and the boyfriend's like, I need just stand there and watch? No, he helped uh -huh. get the, and get him down to the ground. But she was so quick, she was <laughs> out beating him, beating him down to the ground. Good. The boyfriend jumped out, the kid jumped out, they grabbed him, swings him down to the ground. A few seconds later, the cop showed up, and he is arrested. She did not get anything, no charges, no anything. Mama, Good. Good, Mama yeah. Bear was pissed Mama off. Bear was mad. And that, that's the name of the story, so uh, yeah, later up, awesome. we'll have it up on the wall. Um, I want to let everybody know yesterday I posted, I posted a wonderful, wonderful lady that we got to meet um, a couple days ago. Her name's Ellen. Listen to, this, to her, her song. Her song's called Who's the Pusher Now? I put the video up on our wall. It is awesome. It is the truth. Anybody out there that is... Put it on our wall. Anybody out there that... that I'm telling you, you know somebody that the doctors are pushing prescription drugs on that are getting sick. Please watch the video. It'll open your eyes. We have um, our own Joe Exotic. I keep going back to him, but, you know, he's doing a different treatment now, and, and it's fucking, it's, it's messing him up. So, um, yeah, you know, I... I Right there, here he's he's enough, you know. He's one of our sponsors. He's one of my friends. So Try to help him out every way possible. Gonna see what I can do. That's for sure. We made some quite a bit of contacts through Michelle and her networking. Mm -hmm. um, through Michael Marty, through Kara Kempmeyer, through a lot of people. You know, we we made a lot of contacts. So I don't see why. Don't mind me. I'm trying to put the pop filter on. I know. I see what you're doing. As we speak. So, um, I don't think it really matters. I don't think you're really popping that much. I don't know. I don't have a pop filter. But can you hear me? The well, that's a different microphone. That's why. I, uh, I know my memory's bad, so I do apologize. But something about the news, the guy that... Uh, that said that he got shot at or whatever. Well, I'm, I'm having a hard time, but he's on um, the news as far as 2020 ABC, so on and so forth. Well, he ended up... Um, what happened? Why can't I think of his name? I could picture his face. He had said uh, 12 years ago he was in um, Iraq and the helicopter that he was in got shot at, uh -huh. which is not true. He's an anchor. I don't know why he said that. I don't know what, what would compel him to he's lie a, about he's that. He's an anchor? Yes. He's a news anchor. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go find his name really quick. But um, he's he's one, as soon as I say his name, knows. if anybody in chat knows, please post it because we're limited to computers. But we got, chat. We got Bob Steele in the chat. How you uh, doing, Bob? Good morning, Bob. So good morning, Bob. He goes ahead and he decides to take some time off. Um, he kind of like uh, took a little break from the TV. He apologized on the news. Well, now the president of ABC News has decided to suspend him for six months without pay due to lying about it. There is no reason for you to lie about being shot at in that disgusting war we have to do, go over and clean up messes and still going on. He wanted to make his uh, experience over there. happened 12 years ago. Oh, yeah, There's he, no reason to bring it, any lies up right now. And then the, now they're questioning everything. And this so is a reliable he, um, news anchor. What, what war is he talking about? Gulf War? Well, yeah, it was First 12 Gulf years war? ago. Yeah. And the people that he was with, the military people, have already went on air and said, we don't understand why he would say that. You know, it's hard enough for people to go over there and go through this experience, and it's another when you make up lies of this experience. Right. So then, um, to keep in mind, he makes about, I don't know, $14 million a year, so I'm sure it's six months without pay. $14 million a year? He just signed the contract. Wow. He's a still a news anchor? 
Yes, he is now fired. They decided Listen, because he's um, anybody out there many. listening who might so, know him, any um, broadcast agencies that are looking for an anchor, I'm available. $14 million a year. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, man, anybody on chat putting his name up? Um, turn it towards you, baby. I no. can't see it. I can't see Timmy, it. Timmy, you got chat up? Um, no one put it up. Bob, we're apologizing for the sound. We're on a mobile setup because before we went to the rally in Tallahassee, we ripped the studio apart to bring some shit with us. Um, you know, just to get everybody up on speed, uh, we really, um, things went a little cuckoo in, in Tallahassee due to the wind. The tent wasn't been able to be set up. And uh, we ended up, you know, standing out. Them. Yeah, well, we ended up standing out in freezing cold wind for, what, three hours, four, four hours? hours. Yeah. We got there at, what, 8.30? We got there earlier than that, buddy. We got there 7.30, quarter to 8. And we were out there until noon. We were late. Yeah, we and were late. wasn't even up. The tent was supposed to be up at 6. Yeah. Originally, we were supposed to be there at 5.36 to have everything set up to broadcast. So, I mean, it didn't go so well, but it did go very well. Does that make sense? No, it does. In, in news, there's also, uh, um, yeah. Um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm okay. There was a, a homeless man in Washington State um, allegedly hit officers with rocks before police deadly uh, used deadly force. Really? Um, this is on Fox News. A Washington State homeless man had thrown rocks at two officers before he was shot and killed by the police officers at a busy inter intersection uh, in Pasco, Washington. Uh, yeah, I know. In Pasco, I was like, Whoa, yeah, well, I, I thought it was in Pasco, also. Oh, yeah. In Pasco, Washington, uh, <laughs> Police Chief Bob Mitzner um, said authorities had used a stun gun, but it was ineffective. Uh, officers fired their guns because of his threatening behavior. Witnesses said 35 year old Antonio Montes. Uh, was running away when he was shot by police. He tried wait, to wait, 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 wait. Read that sentence again. He was running away. He was running away when he was shot by so police. So they shot him in the back. He shot him in the back. That's, that's what I believe. It doesn't say that he was shot in the back or well, anything like that, but it does say that he was running, running away. away and you got a gun. What happened to chasing him down and tackling him? Maybe using a, a taser. I mean, it said that some of them was ineffective. Tape. No, I'll bet you their cameras. It, it, was, it, it was a witness. Witnesses say a 35-year-old was running, uh, running away when he was shot by police. Um, in an email interview with the Associated Press, um, Dorito, Dorito <coughs> in Fati, uh 21 years old, um, he recorded video of the scene. Uh, I'd like to see that video. Yeah, me too. Um, he said that the homeless man threw, uh, man threw rocks at the officers, but it did not seem to strike them. It didn't hit them. Uh, the man can be seen rocks. Rocks. rocks against bullets. Rocks against bullets. Um, the man can be yeah, seen running kind of away. Brain yeah, come on. Uh, is this what, what it comes down to right now? People are going to be getting killed over. I mean, I can understand rocks. I mean, yeah, they hurt, them. They hurt when you get hit with those. Tase his ass. They, not, not saying that the police should be trained for this kind of situation, but rocks being thrown at a, at a police officer doesn't um, demand Justify. deadly. Yeah, it doesn't demand deadly force against this person. Nah, dude, if you had a gun and I threw a rock at you, would you would you shoot me? Yeah. Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> no, you wouldn't. Because as soon as I saw the gun, I wouldn't be throwing rocks. <laughs> what would you be throwing? I'm not going after the gun. Oh. You don't understand, bro. I get crazy when I see him. Yeah, if you're throwing rocks at me from a distance... Oh, forget about it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not like right here, you know, where you're about five feet away from each other. <laughs> you're shooting me all If I have a gun, I'm going to use it. Right, so then we can't say why they shoot him then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't. Can't, we can't say it's fucked up. We can't. We, can't say it's up. We, we can't. We do the same thing. Yeah. Shoot the fucker kills. No, I'm kidding. I really, if I was a law officer and I had to uphold the law, <laughs> it makes a lot of things different. Are we going to sound pole with us when we go to Oklahoma? I don't know. 
You think that Joe has one over there? I think that Joe has a full studio. I think so, too. And that we probably don't have to bring anything <laughs> but a computer to broadcast just on. Just in case. Yeah, no, I'm definitely bringing, you know, everything I need to no. bring. But. We don't need to really bring anything but our cameras. Uh, Jesus. The mm. sound equipment. Uh, the mixer. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. We're just thinking out loud right I was now. also going to bring the video mixer. I was thinking about putting the audio out. You don't out. think he has that? <laughs> well, the reason I was going to bring ours is so we can broadcast from right anywhere in the studio or, you know, the park, which I'm sure he's got, but I don't know about his live capabilities. Whether he has Wi-Fi all around the park or right, not. Right, yeah. But I don't need it. I really so don't. Happens. We'll have to run a uh, Ethernet cable for miles. I got... 100 feet. You've seen it. Yeah, I, I got 100 feet. That's the I start. Got, I got more than... No, I got connectors, bro. Oh. We can connect five of them, I think, together. Couplings. Yeah. Yeah. So we can go five... I think 500 feet, 600 feet, and I've got it. I've got all that wire. You I'm prepared, running, brother. Running it through the bear cage. you seen? How prepared stuff. was I? Tell me. It didn't come Jesus. out. It didn't come out like a movie. Yeah, I know. Like, uh, like one of them playing yo yo yo. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Exactly um, I'm playing with our sound pole for the microphones that you hold over people's head, and I'm flicking it out like a Chinese yo yo. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to throw it at me. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that, man. I mean, um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have fun. I'm I'm so excited. You have no idea. I keep going back to it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be getting chased by a tiger. You ain't getting chased by nothing. I'm going to chase you with a fucking <laughs> four-wheeler. Um, Kennedy Studios doesn't have liability. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly uh, what I said to him. <laughs> <laughs> nope, sorry. Kennedy Studios doesn't we, have We don't have that kind of coverage. Yeah. Look, you can reach me. I can. That's good. See, now if we had to pass each other a cigarette or something. Oh, yeah. I can just... <laughs> yeah. That's not how you hit a cigarette. I don't know what yeah. <laughs> I never heard no cigarette being puffed on like that. Yeah, that's not a drag. That's a fucking inhale. <laughs> Jeez. So what else? Uh, you going to ride the elephant, bro? Uh, Up in the elephant park? If I'm getting on a horse, you're getting on an elephant. Are we allowed to ride the elephant? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Oh, so I'm riding I it. told Joe that was even scarier than the horse. I'm riding the elephant. Because I didn't know we were animal with the same small brain. I didn't know we were allowed to ride it. Yeah, well, I think we are. I don't know. He had mentioned something, but, you know. Oh, I'll ride it. I don't mind. Yeah, I'll you get up there. With a camera. You ever ride a camel? Well, you won't get up there. You ride a horse, and you're going to get up uh, 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 on an elephant. 75 hands? A 75 oh hands? Oh, my God, elephant? don't do that. <laughs> don't put it that way. Um, like no, I think, I think I would get it on an elephant first. God. Yeah, even though I'm getting a cage with a deadly quicker. fucking uh, tiger, but I won't ride a horse. Timmy's like, listen, now that I'm a co-owner of Kennedy Studios, Lou, we don't have the insurance for that. You can't get on the elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get on that. You gotta sorry, it off. You're not covered for no elephants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, elephants is out of the contract. Can I get the elephant? Can not, I get not in the uh, policy? Can I film the elephant playing with your Nazis? No. <laughs> Why not? We'll Why, get him? Why would the elephant we'll get him with my nuts? Because it's funny TV. We'll get him That's juggling better. the ripe tomatoes, no? I'll wear nice little uh, the underwear. Joe exotic underwear. underwear. We'll get him juggling your tomatoes. We'll do a little, yeah. you know, poke. No, you don't think that'll work? No. 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 All right. No, Sorry, I, I don't want an elephant. Sorry, Joe. You're me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want an elephant sticking his trunk. I don't belong. Yeah, you don't want no trunks where they don't belong. Yeah, what you're saying. There's only one trunk down there, and it's mine. I don't want <laughs> trunks touching trunks over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. No trunk to sword, uh, you know, fraternization going on, please. There's no docking here. Yeah. yeah, right. Will you do me a favor and shut that um, microphone off? I don't know if it is or not, but... It's not. It's not? Will you shut it off? Yeah, you, I okay. did. So... You ain't gonna get on the elephant? I'll get on the elephant. I just don't want to They asked me would I ride some camel toe? Most certainly, bro. I would tear some camel toe up. <laughs> a camel, not camel toe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get about camel toe. Yeah. You said camel. No, like you said camel. You said camel. <laughs> you close toe. enough. I get toe. <laughs> uh, close enough. I rode a camel. <laughs> Bareback. 
Camel. I'm sure you did. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. It's fucked up. Bear bag. Bear bag. No, it was nicely like shaved. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it was groomed up very <laughs> particular. Anyway. Well, guess what yesterday was? Hump. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. It's not even Wednesday. Huh? It's not even Wednesday. It's not? What's not today? Not. Thursday. Oh, we passed Wednesday. We did. I didn't even realize it. You know why? We haven't been on air in so many fucking days. I know. It's been two days, three days. Feels like forever. I go into fucking depressions when I can't get on here and talk. Oh, we were going to get on yesterday, but we had so much shit ripped up that we couldn't there was put it back together. We get on yeah. with. Uh, I didn't get the mobile studio until last night when Radio Shack changed from 40% to 60%. <laughs> Radio Shack going out of business, huh? Well, just that one store is closing. Oh, wow. yeah. That's it? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So when I saw 60% off on that broadcaster, I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> mine? Yes. Mine? 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 What is that from again? Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. That's Finding right. Debo. Finding Nemo. Debo. Kibo. Babe, you want to pull on my sound pole? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shows on your folks got to know. <laughs> Can't really charge. Talk shit radio. Talk shit radio. It's been fun. See you later. Bye. I'm going to get my pole pulled. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to turn that on. Yeah, you might have to turn that on. Cause yeah. I turned it off. Pum, pum. You got to show them off before you walk out. Because okay. I don't think they work too okay. good. Okay. 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 Okay.
of Bruce texting and driving. And it's okay, just... Okay, I'm going to go watch the video. I'll be right back. Yeah, go. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. She's killing me. Why are you leaving? we got more news to do. I know, but I want to finish this story before we... We'll get to the bottom of it, and we'll bring you back to, to to the rest of it. Don't worry about it. Just don't go nowhere. Stay in here. We're on limited capabilities. We're not going to run the show much longer. I mean, you know. No, Bruce, Bruce looks like a girl already. Uh, he does. He's a girl right there. I was watching TMZ last he night. It's hilarious, the shit they were saying. You think he's what I say is bad? He's got. Yeah, he's already got tits. That's from the estrogen. Yeah. Yeah. And he's growing his hair long. Oh, he's oh, well, he's growing his hair long, man. Yep. Yeah, manicured nails, earrings, mm -hmm. ponytails. Yeah. Fine. If that's what he wants, I have no problem. I ain't got no problem with it. No. I don't have a problem with it. Let's. I'm not trying to say I have a problem with it. I want at all. A, a I just. I. I. I don't know. Um. My point is, is I don't know why. I mean, what you know, what causes a man like that? Is it from living with them women no. all that no. years? Yeah, that's probably how he is it from ethnicity? No, yeah? no, I don't think he's, no. I mean, he was a masculine runner, runner, and I mean, you know, he was a Wheaties box dude, and weeks, you know, I mean. Uh, two weeks ago, I was watching, I don't know, one, uh, one of those shows. What are they saying in the chat, bro? I can't see it from here. Um, they went ahead and they were, uh, they were talking about this Baby couple. John, good to see you. That, uh, um, on the outside, no. they are a man and a woman obviously mm -hmm. but the man is actually dresses talks goes to work is considered a woman yeah i remember that story and the woman is actually under her clothes has all male parts what ended up happening is they got married and they realized that they were more like the opposite sex mm -hmm. than their own sex so they decided to start living their lives that way basically yeah they swapped roles the problem was they wanted to have children, um, so they do. They have two children now. But keep in mind, the person that is um, acting like a male is actually a female. Mm -hmm. So it was a male walking around pregnant because he still was Looked like a male, but a male like female and, body functions how was, was was he walking around pretending no he he was a he's a male he goes he? to work as a male and everything but he had he just had a, a, a pregnant prosthesis no you're not getting was it. he fat i don't get it no at all okay it was a male, a male? A vagina i he, was, he had a male right? vagina right he's not a man vagina uh there is a male and a female Underneath, uh -huh. but on the outside, when they go to work or the store or church they were or whatever, they were they're reversed. Right, but they're private parts. So the chick was pregnant, who is dressing and acting and like a man. So they're her right. No, no, you jackass! I get it now. So get they it? have I two children, and you know. So what's wrong with that? I think that, you know... It's weird seeing a guy pregnant. No, what's really weird is being at Walt Disney World and the dude pulls out his boob and starts breastfeeding. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't hear about yeah, this one. Could. Oh, speaking of breastfeeding... I'm just saying, I mean, if they were... Nasty. This, this couple after they gave birth, what's even really screwed up is when the ambulance gets there and says, oh, take my husband to... The hospital, he's having a baby. I've had two children. My husband's having a baby. Yes. And and you mean you? No. No. That's, and that's what happened. And, and what, you know, it is. Man, oh man, oh man. But, you know, the kids don't know any that's different. Deep. That's deep. That's confusing. Right. No, I, I mean, if you well, raise the kids but, to know better, sure, it's yeah, not going to make a difference. That's your mommy. It's you not going to make a difference. That's different. your mommy and that's your daddy. I mean, that's mommy and daddy. Yep. I was uh, I was ignorant to it for a long time, but until you know I met some of the foster parents that your mom's kids went off to and stuff, and seeing them you know a while later, and you know just my ignorance was proven wrong. You know what I'm saying about a gay couple having kids, you know.
Yeah, it, it's it's definitely uh. What you do in the bedroom is nothing to do with being a parent. No, but I mean this in this in this instance, it you know that's funny just because you can really screw some people up. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they were laughing about I'm taking my husband it to the gynecologist. I'm taking my husband to the gynecologist. Right, because, because, because the man is a woman, the woman is a man, and their roles that they play in the relationship. So I mean, it can get you. You'd be like, um, ma'am, do you mean? You, because uh, it's you know what I'm saying. No, I'm the man. Uh, yeah, no. she's on the phone making the appointment for him when really yeah, he is she is man. she is right. So it's it's very confusing. It would be very confusing. Very confusing. Dude, I'm already confused. I mean, how how often does this happen? Probably they're not. They're the so only often. couple that's why they're on the news for it. Yeah. This big story. Right. Right. The first time anyone's ever really heard about that. Yeah. What did John say in the chat, baby? Can you see that? It's too far from here. I'm blind. Hello. Hello now. Well, hello now. Hey now. I can't say that. Hey now. Yeah, it's probably, so, yeah. It's probably copyrighted. Um, <laughs> today, um, American Sniper, obviously everybody knows uh, that movie and Chris Kyle. Yeah. Um, the trial started and um, on the jury, there's 10 women, two mm -hmm. men. He two, two men. Men. Yeah, men. men. He I is claiming you. insanity. Um, Chris would have been 43 today. So happy birthday up there. Um, he said um, he, he's claiming that Chris was also insane. There's text messages from Chris to his other buddy that was killed, saying, "Yo, watch my six, and if anybody knows military, that's watch my back." Mm -hmm. And. Um, if you were to see the three different pictures, the picture of this asshole, because that's what I consider him, um, in the military, um, when he got arrested, and right now, it honestly looks like three different people. Really? And that is scary because it makes you think, yes, he does have mental insane What's problems. really scary is, is we met all of these veterans that are going through that post-traumatic stuff. He's calling PTSD, but you don't shoot someone that's helping you with PTSD just because whatever. And then the lady that I almost hate the most in this Ms. world. Miss Pam Bondi. Nope. No? I hate somebody more than her. Oh, wow. Nancy Grace. Oh. She's so stupid. Nancy Face. She is saying that because this asshole, again, marijuana was found in his system. Oh, jeez. He has a tattoo that says, High Life. And he was drinking, so that was also in his system, is what caused him to kill these two people. Why? Get your facts right. She is an uneducated, ignorant, and if public media <laughs> face. When we okay, discuss that marijuana should listen and to. her, or cannabis, anything Don't medical, listen to that bitch. she is ridiculous. Completely Stupid. and utterly naive. And it just makes me sick. Yeah. Another thing is tax time, people. Everybody's going to start getting their W-2s in the mail. Please be careful between in into it and um, oh, TurboTax. Yep. Um, somebody yes. might have already filed your income tax return with your Social Security number and a different and, and your name and got the money at their location. There is already over 1,800 people that have been um, scam identity. That's the newest scam that's out there. That's, that's, that's this year. There's one every year. Yeah, there's one every year. Not like this. This is the worst no. that has been really? in a very, very long time. Uh -oh. So please, please be careful with that. Or so I, I, I would think it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be safe. You know, because you go and you're working with either a CPA or doing it no, yourself. No, a lot of people are doing it yourself, but that's how they're getting it. So you have to really be careful. I don't know how they stole into or broke into the either Intuit or TurboTax program, but I'm just letting people know. Be careful. Watch out. Probably through somebody's unsecure um, IP. 
IP address. Yeah, thank you. I uh. Fifty Shades of Grey, lady. Movies are coming out. Oh Jesus, we're going to watch it. Even if I fall asleep, I know it's going to be a good night when we get home. Cause just from you reading the book. I know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. What happens in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. Yeah, so keep it in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah but keep it when in the She read this that. book before we went to bed. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> On a side note, look. I'm sure everybody's watched CBS at one point. Ladies, read the book first. There's a news anchor named Bob Simon. He was on 60 Minutes for many, 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 many years. Went over to many uh, dangerous military situation and lived through it and unfortunately was killed in a car crash. Recently? Why? Two days ago. What was he working on? What kind of controversy was he just throwing up? Could there be a backstory? I hope I, I don't know, mm. but sounds like a new show. Could there be some people who were following? Sounds him? like a new show. Could there be a backstory? <laughs> he was working on something controversial. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The road. Yeah. It all depends on the gentleman or I, woman that hit him. I think it was the ninjas. Turtle? Did ni not turtles? No, no, they have just no. ninjas. Yeah, no. Teenage just Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah. No, oh. she's talking about ninjas. No, the, teen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were busy. They were on vacation in uh, the Bahamas. They weren't available. No. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to book them, but we tried to book them in the assassination. They weren't available. <laughs> we had, it cost us money. The Ninja Turtles were cheaper. We had to use Red Ninja. <laughs> God damn it. You all right? Yeah. You still lunging over there? What's all that you showing me? Bruises. What? What, what, yeah, what, what are you showing us? <sighs> it's bruises. What'd you do? She's a cloth. She's a cloth. No. Yeah, she's I'm going to have a bruise. You're going to have a bruise. You're she's too close to her and, and just, you know. Just the wind hitting. The wind hitting there. The bruises are, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm excited that we've got the bro you know the the broadcast, broadcast back up yeah, this morning. Broadcasting. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, if we don't get it at least set up. No. Yeah, we do have to get it all set up. Well, I'm saying. I mean, there's a lot of work do to do. Just so do if it. we don't do it, just do it. When we power it up and we have problems and you know it takes, we have technical difficulties. At least I know we have the backup system. Michelle, you know what you're doing, right? No. She does. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Let's go for it. Michelle's gonna go have coffee. Um, yeah, 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 I think Timmy's gonna play some commercials over there on the on the computer. Yeah, and they ain't watch it now. Watch it. Unplug that one. I'll untangle myself. You're sitting on it, Louis. So you're the one that's All stopping right. him. Get up. He's getting them going. Relax. Okay. Easy, mama, easy. Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. Um, we're rocking and rolling on the portable setup. <laughs> you bitch, that hurt. How's that feel? Ow, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. She's, she, I'm being abused. Somebody call 911. Uh, <laughs> domestic. 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 Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> What is going on here? There's domestic violence going on here. Yeah, my witness that I'm getting beat up. Talk to her, everyone. Stay tuned. She loves me. Perfect. She loves me. If you're looking for a better way to clean the air in your what home or office, you need the all new what ozone it? light. It's as simple as changing your light bulbs. The ozone light looks like a normal spiral type of light bulb. It screws in most standard light sockets, but it's not a normal light bulb. It's coated with titanium dioxide. It's completely safe, but this unique coating kills most airborne bacteria, mold spores, and neutralizes odors. Just one light cleans the air in an entire room and lasts eight times longer than the normal light bulb. If you have smokers, if you have allergies, if you have pet odors, mold, or mildew, you need the ozone light. It will wipe them out. And you have our word. If you're not satisfied with the way the ozone light cleans the air in your home, simply return it for a full refund. Call 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. Or visit airtimestore.com. That's airtimestore.com.
Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich, working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom150.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 150.com. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom150.com. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45 non-tobacco user could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policy policies of $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers, too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-430-1481. 800-430-1481. That's 800-430-1481. Let me ask you a question. Are you getting enough? I bet you'd love more, right? Well, AdamandEve.com wants to give you more with 10 free gifts. First, you'll get a sexy surprise for her. Second, a specially selected toy for him. And third, a little something we know you'll both enjoy. Plus, you'll get six full-length adult movies on DVD. And number 10, free shipping on your entire order. So what do you have to do to get your 10 free gifts? It's not hard. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy, sexy piece of lingerie, or anything you desire. Just enter offer code GIFT13 at checkout and you'll get all 10 free gifts. Go check out adamandeve.com today. Select one item and get 10 free gifts, including free shipping. When you enter offer code GIFT13, that's G-I-F-T-13 at adamandeve.com. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification require cancellation fee, auto pay, and paperless billing, and other restrictions apply. If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Switch to DISH for the best deal in entertainment. Only DISH brings you the best in entertainment for less than $20 a month. Cut the cable and don't get directed. Switch to DISH because at just nineteen ninety nine, DISH saves you every time you turn on the TV. It's so simple. The same channels cost less with DISH. So since you can't see the the difference don't pay the difference switch to dish for the best deal in entertainment get premium movie channels free for three months starting at just 1999 dish saves you every time you turn on the tv call now to save with dish dial 1-800-518-1300 that's 1-800-518-1300 the same channels for less than 20 bucks a month dish call 1-800-518-1300 for details The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world loving animals. 
If you want to work until you keel over, have less of everything in retirement, or give back more of your hard-earned money to the stock market again, then just ignore me. But if you'd like to protect the money you save, receive a steady, predictable retirement income, and enjoy financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. You can download a free report that reveals the wealth-building secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. You'll learn how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, and real prosperity without risking your money in the Wall Street casino and how to get the money you need when you need it simply by asking for it. This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. To learn more about this method and to get your free report, go to 28security.com. That's the number 28security.com. 28security.com. Go to 28security.com. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no t- time-consuming expensive office visits? No, no, and no, no. For a limited time, you can try No-No Pro risk-free. You'll also get the facial kit and a travel case. Get weeks of long-lasting results. That's it. I'm getting a no-no. Great minds do think alike. (laughs) Try No-No Pro risk-free by calling 800-953-2993. 800-953-2993. That's 800-953-2993. 800-953-2993. Hey everyone, welcome back to Talk Shit Radio Network. How's it going, everyone? We're back. We uh, we're up and good. Yeah, we're up and run. All right, cool, cool. Um, yeah, welcome back. Uh, I guess they're finding out there was three winners now. Oh, so someone did win. Yeah, three, three people. Yeah, for the lottery. Yeah, yeah, you know. Well, what, what was the uh, jackpot up to? Uh, three fifty. It was probably more by the time it, they it was, closed it out. Yeah. It was a big fucking number. Yeah. If, if someone didn't win, it would have been over five hundred. Yeah. Would what would you do if you won, Tim? Let me ask you that. Um, I buy an Play island. I buy an island. island. Yeah. Um, and I would build a resort on that island. Would you buy me a boat so I can charter people back and forth? I'd buy you an island. So I don't you want an can island. have. Yeah, why I want not? a boat to charter people back and forth to the island. Why would you want a boat to charter people back to the island? You want to fucking sit on a beach and do nothing. Because that's cool to me, dude, to be able to just drive a you know, If, if you uh, won the lottery and it was $300 million, I wouldn't be working another friggin' day. You're, you're, you're worried about chartering people to an island from the mainland? Okay, we do it for free. Back um, to to yeah. your resort. You know, you know what I would my say? boat, but bro, I mean, you got three hundred million dollars. I want at least to spend, you know, maybe like two or three million on a boat. You know what I would do? Just a little one. I just want a dinghy. I, I take Hayden's idea <laughs> and then start a freaking cruise line for three sums. A singles cruise or a, or a swingers cruise. You know? Swingers cruise, exactly. Swingers, swingers cruise dot com. If anyone was listening a couple of days ago when we right, were in, we got, we in Tallahassee, yeah. it, it was a good idea by Hayden Falk. Um, yeah, if everybody donated a dollar and you know went on this started this fund and, to help you know make this dream possible. And, and, yeah, and it gets quite elaborate. It really. There's only one thing I don't agree with that. What? You could be under seventy years old to do this. You don't have to be 70 years old to go on this cruise. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. This is open from 18 and above. Yes. Man. No, I'd say 21. i say 25. 25 and over. By that time, you're a little more mature. A little. A little. Or a cougar's cruise. Oof. That's cool. With a with, with bunch of cougars. Have- Oh my god! And then, and then all the endless, it's just endless possibilities. Oh, there's millions of possibilities oh that you can do with a cruise. You like run, that. yeah. That's what I'm saying. We buy like a five million dollar yacht. All right. And you're worried about chartering people. Listen, with that kind of money, we just have a helicopter. When we want to leave and we get bored, we just go fly to the island. But we buy a yacht, okay, that big, a five million dollar yacht. Fuck, let you know what? Let's just go to Army Surplus, all right, and do my dream. Let's find a battleship. We, then refit what? we refit it. 
Alright, you refit the battleship, take, take all of its armaments off, make it just a regular big giant fucking pleasure cruising party boat. That everybody and every, anything... A battleship. A battleship, just because it's ginormous. Or if you really want to get crazy, let's get an old aircraft carrier. and just, That would be cool, an yep. aircraft carrier. Just hold that would be cool. annual orgies. You know what I'd be worried about? Out in the middle I'd be worried about Atlantic. people falling off the edge. That's what I'd be worried about. <laughs> Shit, there goes another one. Yeah, right. Man, no, 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 Nobody's ever been able to tell you. Nobody's ever been able to tell you. <laughs> Nobody's the secret has stayed a secret. It's, it's stayed a secret. Nobody's been ever, ever, nobody has ever been able to come back and tell my secret about going fishing. What does that tell you? <laughs> there is something, um, <laughs> some movie uh, about, I don't know. Uh, oh, it was Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> and uh, they were talking about the ship, uh, the Black Pearl, I think right. it was. And, and uh, the, nobody, nobody's ever seen the Black Pearl. Well, where do the stories come from? Mm -hmm. If you've never seen the Black Pearl before, where do the stories come I from? I started it. I yeah. started the story. You started the story. Yeah, I take people fishing, and then they were never able to, to <laughs> come back and tell any of the secrets. And, and then you get a fish wrapped up. No, in I broke. Poop I broke Hayden's balls. My daughter's boyfriend. Uh -huh. I'm like, listen, dude, you fuck up on my daughter, and I'm gonna take you out fishing and throw you overboard, or have you thrown overboard with some cement shoes. So then she starts. Then he starts going out with shrimp boy, fishing. Oh, Jesus. So after the first night. They come back, he's like, oh, you should have saw all these sharks and this and that, blah, 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 blah. So I lean over to him, all nonchalant, it just came to me, he's talking about it, he's all excited, and I lean over, and everybody's sitting there, Felicia, everybody, and I'm like, hey, remember what I told you about if you fuck up on Felicia? Well, now you're even closer to that fishing trip that I was talking I, about. I, I, he he just looked something. at me like, what this look like? No, you did not just say that. <laughs> it, was, it was classic, bro. You know those sharks? You want to be fed to them. Right, yes. Those are the ones I was telling you about. Those are the ones I was yeah, telling you about. Right. I'll tell you what. That's a scary thought. Think about how they used to do shit like that. You mentioned Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. You know, walking the plank. Walking the plank. With a fucking cannon strapped to your back. Oh, Jesus. Down, down you go to Davy Jones' locker. Yeah. And you're gone gone you go down so fast that you don't get a chance to drown because the pressure, pressure kills you yeah that's wicked bro wicked yeah and some of them spots out in the in, in the south pacific are deep <laughs> yeah are miles deep yeah yeah i know right off the atlantic coast we have the you know the the, the shelf that drops down to about Four, uh, four hundred, five hundred fathoms. I think it was, or something like you that. You ever seen uh, Planet Earth? That Planet that Earth. documentary uh, no. on National Geographic? I think no. no. Um, they had a uh, an episode or um, a show about the deep blue sea, mm -hmm. and when you get deep enough, it's pitch black. Yeah, you can't see a goddamn thing. Nothing. The water blocks it. Yeah, it's so deep that the water blocks out. The like, how did they get that footage? I, ROV. Like that's, I was telling that's you, that's crazy. Uh, when the show is over, I will take you to the website. Now, the, the drone is going to be f the, 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 the drone. drone, drone the the drone's going in to be fixed, so we're going to start getting drone footage. Hopefully, by the time we go out to GW Zoo um, and hang out with Joe Exotic, bring that. Yep, we'll have the drone with us. We'll be able to get some really dramatic drone footage as well as on the ground footage mm -hmm. of us broadcasting. So it should be really, really cool. Um, and I should be able to broadcast the drone footage live. Live as well if if is it possible it is possible dude i set it all up that way and if i remember how to do it and i still have if i remember how to do it it's like riding a bike once you start it you know you, no, you'll never forget it's tough bro because it's all over the uh, ip addresses the camera has an ip address so what i have to do is go on the computer i have to find the camera ip address first in the in my app again oh jeez then i have to go on my computer and and tap into that ip address of the camera off the mm -hmm. computer mm -hmm. and then there's a certain coder or some shit that had to be downloaded or something i forget how to do it i do i'll be honest with you but i think the windows will walk me right through it and so now the drone has uh its own ip address does that mean it could broadcast 
has its own platform. Um, well, it generates its own Wi-Fi signal. Yeah. Um, I have a Wi-Fi extender on the remote of it. Uh -huh. So, in reality, yes. Yeah. So, no matter what, if it's if it's in the air, it's 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 basically catching the signal from the remote control for what no. the footage is viewing. Well, whatever no, it goes, goes through view. the extender. Okay. So it goes from the from the Wi-Fi on the camera after it generates its own Wi-Fi. Yeah. It'll hit the extender on my remote and then into my phone. But that extender makes it go quite, you know, a distance. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say I went and I got, you know, them CB antennas or the, you know, the, uh, what is it, a ham radio antenna yes, that yeah. people have on the side of their house. Yes. If I went and I put one of those on, all right, put a multi-directional RF modulation antenna up there, mm -hmm. plugged it into the receiver, plugged it into the extender, oh, my God, I, the, the drone would fly for miles, too. You just need to get that antenna. The drone would fly for miles. Yeah. And now, autonomously, if I set it up with one of those towers as an antenna and then shot it in the air 200 feet, 300 feet, I could fly it 20 miles, 30 miles on the battery it's got. I was going to say, with the battery, it would die. 25 minutes. Yeah. How many miles do you think you can get out of 25 minutes? 30 miles there and back. Wow. That's quick. Yeah. She does 60 miles an hour. Wow, that's the wind at her back. 60 miles an hour into a tree. It did. When I first tested out the autonomous flight, mm -hmm. two days after I downloaded the software. I think it should, I think it should be on the company at that point. Go it, ahead. It was. It was. They, they agreed to replace it. Um, I just never sent it in. It, it's only the fucking case. You know what I mean? The mm, plant, the housing. Case, that's all it is, dude. The housing bent, which is calling the, causing the propeller to, to smack it. Yeah, I, and I would have had the company replace it. Nah. Nah. No, I wanted to put nah. a carbon fiber case on it anyway. Yeah, okay. So they wouldn't do that for me. Oh, okay. I would, st I would actually so be more. a couple more minutes in battery. Because of the, the light. Yeah, right. I'll have the carbon fiber body on it. Um, I'll have the carbon fiber props Pro on it. Yeah, propellers. Right, which take it from 25 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour, bro, because they're rigid props. The original props are, are not a rigid prop. They're, they're plastic. They're floozy. Flap ones. Yeah, plastic, and they bend. They you the, do you call it a floozy? Floozy. He yeah. said floozy. Flimsy. Flimsy, flimsy, flimsy. flimsy. Fucking, they flop. Goddamn props are freaking flop. Yeah, they're floozy. Bloody <laughs> little bastards that they are. <laughs> they're floozy. Yeah, we're going to end up the uh, broadcast at 10 o'clock, folks. We really have a lot to do. We're over. We're over? What time? 10.01. Well, then we're done, folks. We're out of here. Talk Shit Radio Network. I want to get the studio all back up so I can be sitting in the captain's seat and have the video and everything you got on this. It's not the captain's seat anymore because you're not at the head table. That is true. That is very true. You would call it a driver's seat because it's on the right hand side, on the left hand we side. We both live in the captain's yeah. We both sit in the captain's chair uh, seat now, yeah. So, I'm well, yeah, we got that. Shut up. <laughs> we, we got surprises coming for you, actually. Uh, when we get the um, network back up, we're going to have a bunch of giveaways. I do have some Joe Exotic T-shirts to give away, some uh, autographed uh, pictures, books. We are going to have, I believe we're working on some, um, some vape pens, some bongs, some other things through a couple sponsors. So we're going to have a lot of shit to give away. Um, just bear with us, guys. We're you know we're coming back off of a, off of a, what we thought was going to be you know a spectacular broadcast, but it turned out to be a little here, a little there. So putting the studio back together to where it's more camera friendly. What do you think? I think uh, it's going to look a lot better. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, the other the other setup was good, but this is more professional for real. This is more camera ready. Um, you see how I took those wrinkles out, huh? Yeah, it looks <laughs> awesome. Yeah. This is more camera ready. It looks better for the camera because that's pretty much, you know, where, you know, the main focus is going because we have talk shit TV show and talk shit radio. Not that it's, it's a lot main better focus. to get the Ustream up for the, uh, for yeah. the camera. And, and not everything. that it's a main focus. I miss, I miss 
put that. The, the cameras are not a main focus. It's we, This is Talk Shit Radio Network, but we do have Talk Shit TV show and yes. Talk Shit Radio. So uh, I got to I gotta do both of them. Now, um, guys, thanks for everything. I appreciate everybody sticking with us with the rally and tally. I promise we are uh, better um, planned for uh, for the broadcast out in Oklahoma. This this week we're discombobulated. Yeah, it was it was just a rough week, you know. Um, we'll actually be back tomorrow, the regular time, regular length. We might actually run over tomorrow just to catch. Last up week we ran over over an hour each each show every day. Every day. Every day we did one day was four plus hours. Yeah. So we are going to sign off here. I really appreciate everybody tuning in, sticking with us. John, John Daisy. Daisy. Yeah, absolutely. John, Daisy. Bob um, Steele. Bob Steele. We got this. just so many. Uh, Bill Worsford contacted me this morning. Uh, you know, I want to thank Robert Platzorn, whether he's listening or not. Thanks for the event. Uh, you know, it worked out for the best. Appreciate, you know, you letting us be there and wear our shirts around. Everyone that was at the um, the rally and tally that might be listening, I want to thank you guys for being there and, and being in the same fight that we're in. Uh, those of you that are patients um, know that, you know, I'm a patient, not a criminal. So, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone, I appreciate it. Timmy, you got anything to add? It's on you. No, everyone, thank you for joining us and sticking with us, really. All right, Talk Shit Radio Network, we're out. See ya!